Okay. All right. We've moved to the molding plate. We're pouring in our vehicle. This is what we're going to grind our paint in. This is incredible, beautiful ultramarine blue. Look at this. Oh my God. What novels were novels are about. Now we mix the vehicle. On the ultramarine blue, you're going to get a little bit of rejection. It doesn't know how to handle. It doesn't know how to handle this. But it begins to give way. It begins to give in. And we load as much pigment as we can in it. Look at this. Now it begins to respond. Oh my god. Whoa, baby. Mmm. Throw some more pigment in it because we want we want our colors incredibly full saturation. this. Let's mull it. Add just a little bit more, a little bit more vehicle with it. Kind of bring the shine up. Mmm. Does have an incredible scent to it, doesn't it, Reba? Yes. And a lot of that, a lot of that is actually the gum turp. Unfortunately, and I guess fortunately for some, that uh, gum turp is kind of outlawed in schools these days because of its incredible uh, fragrance. Yeah. So you have now. We have paint. We have ultramarine blue. The paint of the gods. Add a little more. And the beauty of this is it's water soluble. It has the viscosity of oil paint and it has the drying time of watercolor. And from experience, you know what. Um, thickness you want it to be. How I do. Thick. Yeah, and the beautiful thing about it is you you uh, develop or you uh, what's the word you to a particular viscosity that works for you for the particular idea that you that you have that you want to execute in the work itself. But we'd be able to take this and, and paint and paint with it. Okay, Vernon, I'll catch you next time. Thank you, Reba.